I spend and have for decades spent so much energy earning the trust of my uh, my current and potential future customers, my current and potential future vendors, my current and potential future competitors, yeah. my current and potential future employees, em employees. and contractors, yep. right? Like it, if I could, and this is uh, like, I'm having a moment here because if I could distill down the thing where I spend the most of my energy, it, it is credibility. And it, it feeds everything else that we it do. Does. Obviously, I don't just sit here and, and fret about it. It's it's I, I, I like to take take a bias towards action. I, I don't always succeed at that because I, I fail more than I succeed. But it, it it's baked into all of the actions that we do too. replying to people quickly, you, you know, yeah. giving being accurate, being friendly, being reliable, like all of those things boil down to credibility and i'm hyper it's interesting i've never stopped to think about this before because i'm hyper aware of the value of that credibility in whatever market i'm in and it's yeah. fascinating to me when i can watch the scales tip yeah and i think <laughs> if if you if you start with this value concept if you can't add it I think you really have to try to figure out why, you know, yeah. if, if there's a problem, if you can't make a profit doing it a certain way, you know, how do you change things to where you, you know, where you can, and, and yeah. did you fall down into this slippery slope of competing on price? So you had to cut this or cut that, or, you know, um, people pay for quality and they pay for timeliness. Like, you know, you need something done at your house. You go online to five different websites and fill out a contact form. You're probably, you're lucky if you hear back from one. It's amazing. Um, right. It's and crazy. So, yeah. It's crazy. And so that, that value add uh, focus on, you know, credibility, I think it's, I think it's just a great place to start. And, um, but I think we all have to work at it. Like you said, it is a constant fight, you know, every time. It, yeah. When I, when I did that handbag experiment, you know, and eventually sold like 7,000 handbags. Well, I didn't start by selling $5,000 handbags. I would have been laughed out of the room. You know, I sold $50 handbags and then I built up a following and then credibility and over that, then I sold a three, four, five hundred $500 handbag. And then I put, Oh shoot, man, I could get an $800, $1,000. So it took me a year and a half before I was, okay, now I can probably get $2,500. Now I could, because there was all this credibility stacked yes. up and all these yes. great reviews. And they didn't care that somebody had spent 50 bucks. They just saw the review that said, man, shipped it fast. It met my ex. It was so great. They have the no boxes, idea. There's right. no dollar amount next to it. So no. Offer services. Maybe you need to offer an inexpensive solution. Like, you know how everybody oh, $79 clean your vents or I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Do, do it for free and get all those reviews and stack them up. And then you get the people that want to come spend 10 grand on your HVAC.